Ooh, crazy limbo land. Well, hello everyone. Thongman here. Making a video for the first time in a while. There are reasons for that, which I'll get into over the course of this video, but as you can see, we're playing Minecraft. Um, most of you probably know about Minecraft by now, but for those of you who don't, it's, it's a sandbox game. It's available for purchase at minecraft.net, I believe. It is an independent game. It is absolutely fantastic. It's received a lot of attention over the past few months on YouTube. Um, to the likes of CNanners, uh, X, whose channel name I can't remember, and my other favourite playthrough of it, which started quite recently, is by Lachlan at Minecraft WB. And I'll put a link to them in the description in case you want to check them out. I've been playing it for about three months, maybe, uh, on and off. Well, more than about four months, maybe. Kind of off and on, not too into it, but giving it a good shout. And I've decided to do a little let's play of it because of reasons I'm going to go into in the video. But first, I'm going to try and get myself set up. So basically, what you do in Minecraft is it's hard to define. One of the most important things to do is to gather resources. As you can see, while I've been talking, I've gathered a bit of a few blocks of dirt, and I'm going to use this to mark my spawn, or rather to give myself some kind of... In fact, you know what? That's a pretty good landmark that I can judge myself by, because I spawned pretty much looking at that. So I'll use that as my spawn landmark. Just fill that in. But yeah, so it's kind of a gathering game, a building game, an exploration game, it's anything, it's a lot of games. There's a lot of different things to do in Minecraft, and this isn't going to be like a full-time let's play, although to be fair, I'm not sure I've done a full-time let's play yet, but this is going to be updated quite a lot over the next few weeks, but then after that, probably pretty sparsely, and the reason for that is that I am not at home anymore, I'm at university in Aberdeen, and the lap my laptop is not as good as my desktop by rather a long stretch and it cannot handle Minecraft, it cannot handle Raptor, it cannot handle recording software, and it cannot handle my easy cap. So recording up there is next to impossible. Let's get a look around this land of mine. I quite like this actually. I've rolled quite a few lands over the past few days since I got home for Christmas and I haven't really enjoyed them and I've re-rolled quite a bit, but this one's quite nice, I like it. And there's... anyway, so... First thing you want to do, get some wood. Wood is a very important resource. You then turn it into wooden planks. You then take four of them and you put them in your crafting area by right-clicking. And you get a workbench. And your workbench is this is this is the most important item in Minecraft. Like bar none. Nothing is going to be of more oh, hello. use to you than this workbench. And I think we've just found our home. I think we have, guys. And for some reason, my mouse isn't working. Okay. So I'm going to put you there for now. And then I'm going to. What we can do. Plant this. Yeah, when you cut down trees, if you cut through leaves, you'll sometimes get these. These are saplings. Put them near water. And they will grow into trees and then you can get wood from them. Wood is pretty damn important resource. You'll generally never be quite low on it, but you know, you want to make sure there's always a ready supply just in case. So what we're going to do is we take half of these and we put half there and half there and make some sticks out of wooden planks. What I did earlier with the wooden logs was I refined them into planks because lumber is useless in this game essentially. There's I can't think of any uses for it. I'm going to make now. I'm going to make two axes by arranging my blocks in the shape of an axe on this little crafting square. I'm very bad at explaining games. There's a reason that my playthroughs are usually incoherent Pokemon playthroughs. I know my things in my inventory, so yeah. I'm going through the basics, but I get this feeling that everyone already knows the basics. But I'll run through them right now before I start. I've got time. I'll run through them, basically. <laughs> Press I, brings up your inventory, that's me. I'm, you can use different skins for your character, and mine is obviously red from Pokemon, because I'm cool that way. 
uh, I've gathered my dirt, I've got my wooden planks, I've got some sticks, and I've made these two axes. This is my hot bar. This is that bar that runs along the bottom there. I'm using my mouse, but you can't actually see my mouse. You can only see it light up. This that Red is looking at is my... That's my hot bar. That's representative of the thing at the bottom here. As you can see, I can scroll through using the mouse wheel. You can use hotkeys as you would in, like, Oblivion. And this is the rest of my inventory space. This is for armor, which we'll get into a little bit later. And this is a kind of small crafting area. You can't make many things here. Most things require a 3x3 grid. And for 3x3 grid, you use the crafting bench. What happens is, right click your crafting bench, you've got a bigger area to make things with. And that's how you make all your tools. So we'll eventually make things like bolts and doors. Crafting bench, the recipe for that is simply get your wooden planks. One. Two, three, four. Tada, workbench. I don't need another one right now. But eventually I probably will. Uh, you can place all of your items down by left clicking or pick them up left clicking and you can put them down one at a time by right clicking. If you've got a pile of a pile and you right click it, you take half of that pile. And that's the basic inventory mechanics of this game. So now we're gonna go for some more wood. It's important in your first day of Minecraft. There's first day of Minecraft videos all over YouTube and this is just another one to add to that number. <laughs> the most important thing you have to do is get ready for the night. In the night a lot of monsters or mobs spawn and they have a tendency to fuck your shit up if you're not careful. What type of enemies you get? You get uh, skeletons who fire arrows. You get zombies who just kind of glow about at you. They're spiders. Spiders are just they're fast little fuckers and they jump about and they're my least favourite enemy. And you get creepers. Creepers are... I think c calls them green penis monsters. When they're, you know, they look like penises. They, they explode if you get too close to them. Creepers are unique in that they can also spawn during the day. So yeah, they're dickheads. Especially when you've just built something really nice and then creeper comes along, and then a creeper comes along, and, you know, goes kaboom. Uh, better cut through some of these leaves to get some saplings. But yeah. So I was explaining crafting, so I may as well explain the two different tools you can get in this game now. Get that out of the way. The axe, which just broke, is the first tool that I generally the first to always make, however it's not, you know, it's used for it's used for wood, ch chopping down wood, and it's got no other uses, really. Generally speaking, you won't need to make many axes. You'll maybe make one or two in the first day to get your first lumps of wood, and then later on you might make better axes, one or two better axes, and that'll probably do you for most of the game. You also get shovels, which are used to cut through dirt and gravel and sand, and you get picks, which are used to cut through stone. Uh, you also get a hole. A hole in farming is something that I haven't actually ever done. But I'm going to do it probably over the course of this let's play, so I'll get into that when it comes. And oh, three saplings here. And there is also a sword, which is yeah, used to fight your enemies or your mobs. And uh, you can also make a bow, which is also used to fight enemies and mobs. Bow, of course, uses arrows, which you can make, or you can get them from dead skeletons. And this is going to be my little happy tree island. Forest Island, motherfucker. Get these reeds. Just boom. And these are reeds. Not quite sure what they do, but we're going to collect them anyway. So yeah, um, like I said, I have played this game quite a lot, but I'm not very good at it. I just kind of like to dick about and find my merry old way around and shit like that. So don't expect any wondrous gameplay or any you know, thrilling revelations about Minecraft. Uh, on the subject of tools, you get different types of materials can make different things. Obviously we have here our wooden axe and I'm just about to create a wooden pick and a wooden shovel. Two sticks is your basic frame for a pick. One, two, three. And there's a wooden pickaxe. And then one, two and one is a shovel. Just the shape of the exact same shape of the tool as if it was laying flat and then you've got it, basically. And you can get to fuck. Oh, chickens allowed in mine. Yeah, they're also friendly. I say friendly, they're not really friendly, they're just kind of 
dumb farm animals that spawn pigs, cows, sheep, and chickens. Oh shit, it's getting dark. I don't have very much to show for my day. I need to get some coal so people can you can actually see what happens at night because on YouTube Minecraft videos are obscenely dark. Oh come on, I need coal, right? Okay. After you get some of that, you want to very quickly make a oh, stone pickaxe to replace your wooden one because wood is rubbish. Stone is the next material up from wood and it's considerably more durable and it will do the job considerably faster. I also want to make a sword which is made by one stick and then two of your material on top of that. Become a workbench. Because I'm going to have to go and find somewhere to hole up and I'd rather not have a workbench lying out. Any materials to block myself in except wood, and I don't like using wood. So, oh shit, oh, I'm so dead. Ah, fuck. Um, I'm trying to explain the basics of the game while also worrying about my impending death at the hands of all sorts of crazy monsters. Oh my lordy lord, where the fuck am I gonna go? Shit, we died. I don't know how well you can see now. What I might do is cut, if nothing interesting happens, I'll cut out the night. Oh my lord, okay, something interesting is happening. I don't know if you can hear the game, you probably can't hear the game audio, you never can in my videos. But, uh, yeah. A skeleton just found an arrow. There is a skeleton right there. Don't know how well you can see him. But, uh. Where the fuck are you gone? Oh my lord! Okay, okay, this is not gonna end well. Even I can hardly see God, this is going to be pitch black on YouTube. Come on, you bastard. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Right. Okay, the skeleton's in there. In our future home. Just being a dick. Just kind of... Chilling. There's a sheep over there. Can't see any other enemies, though, which is a good sign. Clumber up here. Get some good high ground that I can't really be attacked or ambushed on. There we go, now I can see what I'm doing. There's another skeleton just there, I don't know if you can see him, he's on Happy Tree Island. Wanker. So, uh, yeah. After stone, you get iron. After iron is a uh, diamond, which is the best crafting material in the game. It's also extremely fucking rare, and I have. I usually only manage to find enough to make one pick, and then I die, lose the pick, lose the diamonds, and fall out with Minecraft. So, yeah, that'll be fun. So, the purposes of this let's play. Well, I want. What I want to do, what I'm going to set out to do is, I'll get my basic house, I'll get all my equipment sorted, and then I want to go on adventures. As you can see, there's a big open sea. The Minecraft world is about three times the size of Earth. Our Earth. Allegedly, or it can be, because it expands as you explore. So what I want to do is I want to go out and I want to discover new lands, and I want to conquer all that shit that's out there and bite off the likes of. You won't be able to see this, but there are now four skeletons and a creeper hanging about over there. Plus, there's still the guy who's inside our house. Well, it's not really a house yet; it's just kind of a, a hill. An appropriately shaped hill, but a hill nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to clear the top of this while I speak. And there's a zombie. Oh my god, this place is monster central. There's a creeper, skeleton. My god, there's like there's like a fucking hundred of these bastards. That's a sheep. He's okay. Oh my lord. Right, I think it's time to. Engage the skeleton in mortal combat. <laughs> oh, you bastard. <sighs> he died. Got some arrows off him. I am now, however, quite badly injured. Go away, zombie. Nobody wants to be your friend. Nobody likes you, zombie. <sighs> Jesus, Johnny Macaroni. And then... Well, thankfully nothing else is going to attack me. 
Although apparently the skeleton took a pot shot at me while I was up here. God, it's midnight. We can go in forever. And there's my, there's a spider. Maybe we'll see splinter cell eyes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get away. Piss off, piss off. Fuck off, spider. <laughs> Jesus, wept, man. These guys do not know when to quit. So yeah, what I want to do is explore. I want this to be not like a building tutorial or a, but an expl exploration tutorial. I want to find dungeons and I want to, you know, go to new lands and have a bit of a sense of danger about it. <laughs> However, for the first, prospectively, 15 to 20 videos, what I will be doing is developing a home, gathering resources, getting to know this land around me. I mean, I've spent the past 15 minutes, well, I've spent the past like 6 minutes standing on top of my house trying not to die. I don't even have a house yet. And the future Casa Thong Man is looking pretty drab. I'm going to start to... I'm going to get rid of this sand. It's not a bad shape. What it's going to be is... This is going to be a little front door area. I don't even know how well this can be seen. But fuck, I'm going to start building. Because I'm getting restless. Uh, you probably shouldn't build your house out of stone like I have because not out of uh, dirt because monsters spawn on dirt. Yeah, so until I get torches, a monster could just pop up here and be like, "Oh hi, Michael. How you doing? Die, motherfucker!" And then that hurt me. So that was a silly thing to do, really, on reflection. Ah well, that's just how I roll. So yeah, I apologise for the lack of videos recently. On my part, I'll well, say the rest of them, apart from uh, Jesus666, who's also an Aberdeen. We're just being lazy fuckers. Uh, but I'll try and get some more stuff out while I'm here for Christmas, and hopefully I'll be able to get record some form of recording set up. <laughs> but it's... It's difficult, I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. Through here. Oh, hello. Got a little dent in there. Right? I can't see shit. Just hurry up and be fucking day. Doesn't even help if I go further that way or else I would just run over and wait for it to be fucking sun shining. Then we we'll just stop speaking. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh the fail. Yep, good landmark. So that's the Castle Thong Man. Right there. That's a creeper. That's the skeleton that killed me. Yeah. Yeah, so I just die. When you die, you lose all your equipment, however. It stays in the area you died at, and it stays there for three day in-game day and night cycles. Oh my god, I'm so about to die. I just need to... Just need to keep running. Just need to give me that string. Just, 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 just... just just, just my god, look look at this madness. Oh my god, oh my lord. There are, there are literally like, yeah, there's a lot of fucking monsters chasing me right now. Oh sunshine, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Come on, you can't come fast enough. Oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord. Great, now I'm stuck in this pond place. The sun's not up yet. When the sun comes up, skeletons and zombies start to burn, as you'll see on these little swords here. Oh my god, can you just fuck off? Oh, rage! Anyway, oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. Go away. Go away! Dude, this shit is not cool. I've just fucking spawned. Give me a break. Oh my lord, that skeleton's on fire. Oh, no, wait. Oh, he's not, because in the water. They don't, they don't go on fire in the water. Because that would be silly. There's another creeper. Oh my god, that was that is literally the worst first night I have ever had in Minecraft. <coughs> Oh 
Granted, it's close. That is, there's a, the second night's close, but that was terrible. Okay, so getting back to the fucking game. Jesus, Johnny Macker. I mean, my playthroughs are known for their failure, but that's just that's taking the Mickey bus. There's my items. Should be over there, next to the casa. I'm gonna. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna use that as a, like a frame and build it around with uh, stone. Here we go. So we get some. Bop, bop, bop. So sure, sure, my arrows, my wood, my yeah, it kind of goes everywhere, and fucking anywhere. Sand, yeah, there is just no sense and sensibility to where it goes. It just goes. Um, where the hell's the cat? Oh, here, behind, here's the back door of the castle. So, getting back to the fucking task at hand, which is finding coal. That is now my number one priority find coal, and I don't care where I find it. We've got unlimited upload time, so what I'll do is make this video about half an hour long, and then, you know, get back to it. Coal is used to make torches. Uh, it's also used to burn things in furnaces, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Right now, we need to make torches, so we can see at night, and so we can stop monsters from spawning at night. Coal is not very hard to find, usually, but it's usually just in like the side of a mountain, near where you spawn it will be there, as a kind of general rule. Feathers, zombies drop feathers, dead chickens also drop feathers. Maybe that little hole over there, that little cubby, oh hello. Oh, that is very cool. Oh, that is cool. Hmm. Oh. I like the little cool formations you get with this. It's Kind of groovy. <laughs> uh, maybe there's coal. Maybe coal down there. Coal and water going quite well, but nope. Apparently not. Apparently not. So just jump up there, jump up here. Hump, hump. Uh, I'll go check this little hole here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Yeah. Okay. Sand normally obeys gravity unless it spawns like that. Uh, so what happens is if I was to say remove this bit of sand, yeah, we get a massive cascade effect which opens up a cave in which there is a zombie. Oh my god, that's a... Right. Okay, two very brief... Oh, hello, 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 hello. Okay, we're finding a lot of good shit. Firstly, this is iron, or it's iron ore, more specifically. We should just take this, and then we can refine it using the aforementioned furnace into iron ingots which we can then use to make iron weapons, iron tools and iron armour. This, now this is cobblestone. Oh my lord, spiders, fuck right off. This is cobblestone. Cobblestone is what you get when you... Go away! Yeah, fuck. Just... Mull him in there. <sighs> Fucking rage. Cobblestone is what you get when you chop down stone as a man-made resource. So what you're thinking is with all that cobblestone there, that, my friends, because I think it's open top, was it? Yep, here we go. That, look, right. I'll try not to disturb the sand too badly because, oh no, it won't flood it, it's got a stone roof. This is, um, this is a dungeon. Yep. A dungeon. You get dungeons you get a chest or two chests occasionally and a monster spawner. That is a monster spawner right there and it's spawning spiders. I cannot oh can I? In this chest, ironing Oh my lord. Oh my lordy lord. You you my friend are a dick. I'm going to fuck your sh oh my god, there's two of them now. Ugh. Right. I'm not yet strong enough to fight these cactuses. Right. I remember where it is, generally speaking. We're going to come back here and we're going to claim our prize. That is actually, that's the earliest I've ever found a dungeon in this game. Anyway, yeah. So I need a big gulp of water there. Now, that's distracted us from the quest for coal a little bit more. It's fucking imperative that we find coal within the next... Well, the next six in game hours because it's midday. And as soon as the sun goes down, we died. I don't fancy another light night like last night. 
Oh, hello. This looks promising. But it's not. And here we have a little, again, sand that defies the laws of physics. Uh, really dark caves. But brighter. Aha! Um, I don't know how we can see that. But that is coal. Coal looks like stone, just with black strikes in it. I've got a nice little, nice well sized coal seam here. What I'm going to do is quickly just show you how to make torches. Stick. Coal. Boom, 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 boom. We have torchlight, and then we can lay this down here and wazooft. Let there be light. Okay. God oh me, this is a big seam. I feel like I'm in fucking Wales. Oh hello there, I'm very much liking to go into the mines now. I'm from the valleys. Guardian Cock plays my fan way. There you go, that's classic. Anyway, get out of here, take my torch back, because I don't really need it here, because I'm not going to be back in this little cave. Oh, more coal. Just get all the coal you can fucking get at the early stages. Just also, never may never dig directly below you like I just did, because you could fall into a dungeon, very long drop, die, lose all your shit, or even worse, not die and be stuck there and have to mine your way out and when your shit runs out your weapons run out oh my god, we're running out, oh hello this looks pretty cool hmm, this does look pretty cool I can hear something dicking about but I don't think it may just be a coup, ah it's a coup a coup Scottish as fuck as I'm out. Jesus, man. Yeah. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lordy lord. There's a pig down there. This is pretty snazzy, this place. But, again, I might come back here later and use this site as a mine. I'll remember it because... Well, actually, I probably won't already. I've totally lost. I don't know where I'm going. I need to find the casa. If you don't love me now, we will never love me again. Where the fuck is the castle? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for my house. Do you know where the fuck it is? Uh, we're coming up to half an hour, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home. And I'm going to start work on Castle Thong then. And then I'm going to start recording again, either later tonight or tomorrow, because that's quite late here. And then... We'll see where we're going from there, but this has just been a kind of introduction video. Uh, hopefully this won't be the tone of the Let's Play from now on. Hopefully there'll be a bit less failure and a bit more win and a bit less where the fuck is my house. Also, kill pigs. Get bacon. Bacon is good. I'm a student. Bacon is like the centrepiece of my diet. Bacon and smoked sausage. So these little guys, yeah. They died. And, oh my lord, I cannot find my house. This isn't cool. Okay, folks, I'm going to have to leave you on this cliffhanger. I'm going to keep looking for Castle Thongman and hopefully find it by the next video. So I will see you all on the flip side for more Minecraft. And adios. And I can't remember the hockey for stopping, so sloppy finish. <laughs>